Hey, my name is John. I'm with Sports Basement here in our ski shop. About to uh, tune up these bad boys. First, we'll take a look at the bottom, looking for any major imperfections. Uh, a couple small little gouges, but nothing too major. We're looking for any big perpendicular gouges that'll drag the ski in a certain direction, but nothing too major. Uh, we could smooth it out, but remember any time that you grind off the base, you're taking life off the ski, so no real reason to do that with these guys. Um, looking at the edges, a um, little bit of rust buildup down here, but that's really about it. Nothing else along the sides. Uh, remember, rust will weaken the metal, so we always want to keep up with the rust. Um, never drag your finger across the edge, always just kind of drag it across along the sides to feel how sharp it is. Remember, a sharp edge is a safe edge. Um, these are fairly sharp, uh, so for more of a casual skier, these would be just fine. I'd say just leave them as is. Uh, a little more aggressive skier might want a little more sharp of an edge, get kind of digging the snow a little more. So, but um, yeah, probably just a quick waxing for these guys. Maybe a little polish up with the edge and be good to go. All right, so we're ready to uh, to sharpen these. Um, so anytime we sharpen them, we're gonna kind of start right at the tips, going all the way down to the tail. Uh, we'll actually end up then detuning these, which actually softens this up a little bit. That way when you start your turn, initiate your turn, it'll roll in a little bit smoother instead of really being super catchy and bitey. So we'll do that here in just a second. So when we figure out how far we want to detune, we put the skis together, kind of where they come together at this edge right here, that's where we start that detune. That's where it starts that turn initiating. So that's where we want it to kind of soften up a little bit so it rolls in the turn a little bit smoother. So we're gonna detune from out here on up. So we're about ready to wax these skis up. Uh, this wax right here was created by uh, one of our guys at our warehouse that does all the major repairs. Uh, he was the tuner for the US snowboard team and he made this universal wax. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, so we're gonna heat this up, uh, really open up all the pores of the ski so it can absorb the wax, but we don't wanna burn it. So it's a really fine line. We wanna make sure that as we're heating this, you can see that wax start to soften up. And you can see how it stays nice and hot and shiny. We want that to stay hot for a few seconds, but not for too long. That's the sweet spot. If this was winter, what we would do now that we got the wax on here, now that it's cooled, we would actually then go ahead and scrape this off with a scraper just like this and actually use a brush to then actually brush out the fine wax. A lot of people think that you want to leave the wax on here, but you want to treat wax like lotion on your skin. You want the lotion in the skin, not on the skin. Same thing with wax. You want it soaked into the base. We don't want it sitting here on the base. But because this is summer, what we're gonna do is we're going to just leave it just like this. So it keeps the base nice and uh, protected, keep the base from drying out, uh, and actually help to kind of coat the edges, keep them from rusting out as well too. If we're all done, these guys are ready to uh, be stored for the summer. Uh, remember, treat it like you would a normal car. Uh, general maintenance on your car, uh, like oil changes will keep them lasting longer. Uh, same thing with skis, just general maintenance, especially in the summertime, uh, when the most damage occurs for them just kind of sitting out there. Uh, we'll help you guys last uh, a long, long time. Take good care of you.